Hey everyone, I'm gonna be going for a quick drive in my Lancia today. Just throwing on the hat with a GoPro mount. Hopefully it doesn't look as bad as my E46 POV video, but I probably won't be driving this car too hard or in any really curvy roads because I still have a lot of work I need to do to it. Mainly that being is the suspension. This suspension is pretty much clapped out. I mean, <laughs> the struts, they do not absorb anything and it actually rubs a lot over hard corners even with all that wheel gap. I'm not gonna do anything from the back near the exhaust because it doesn't really make all that much noise. The main noise comes from the intake and the turbo. Here's my 1993 Lancia Delta Integrale Evo 2. Uh, I have this car for a couple months. Really haven't driven it all that much because I'm still waiting on so many parts from various countries. They're all being hauled up in uh, customs. So everything's taking a little bit longer than expected to get this car running up to my standards. But it still runs and drives pretty nice. I think the engine feels very solid. I think the, the main issue with this car, the main issue with this car is probably the suspension. It's like the shocks are like just clapped. Like around sharp corners you rub because the car just shifts so much. Uh, I'm probably gonna go with some upgraded Bilsteins and like lowering springs that were offered on a special edition of this car. So it should be sitting pretty nice after that. But for now, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go to the gym and I'm just figure I'd record driving it. I'm not gonna take any like crazy driving or nice driving roads because this car suspension just can't handle it right now. But you can get a little view of what it's like just to drive as a daily I guess makes cool noises I don't really hear the exhaust at all but you get cool turbo noises so what more can you ask for it's not very fast but it's like it's enjoyable uh, there's stock like 200 horsepower I think it's like 200 and some change but very low 200s and I want to get about 300 and maybe 350 horsepower out of this. I think that will be a very good number for this car, kind of like modernize the power. I think that will keep up with a lot of stuff on the road, but just be enjoyable to drive. That match with the suspension and an exhaust where you can hear the car. I think this car is going to be really fun to drive. Also with this uh, martini livery, the car gets a lot of attention, which I mean, it's fun, but usually I like more understated cars. Definitely gonna put some some tint on this. Give myself a little bit of privacy. I live in Florida, so I throw tint on everything. I love taking pictures of it just in like random parking lots because it looks so out of place. It's a really cool car to drive. Also, I ordered a new shifter for this, so that should feel really nice. This one's actually not too bad, but I'm pretty sure it's like a homemade shifter. This looks like it's just a, like the threads of a bolt welded on top of like a metal shaft, so. Someone got creative, but it works, I guess. The only time I don't enjoy driving this car though is, is on the highway. It, it definitely feels the lack top end. And honestly, it's, it's a flat box. It feels a little weird going on a highway. I don't think it's built for that. Also, I'm not sure how safe this car is if it were to get into a accident, but uh, hopefully it doesn't happen. So I just got back from the gym, I got a smoothie. Forgot about the uh, no cup holders in this thing, so I'm just gonna shove it between my legs for now. I did buy a, a cup holder that kind of attaches to the bracket of the seat. I don't know how good it will work, it probably won't work good at all, but it's something. That's just like half throttle, but honestly it's 
half throttle and full throttle aren't that big of a difference in this car. I also don't want to like go too hard on this car to like really go through the engine and pull it and replace all the gaskets. It's only like, it's not really leaking anymore. There's, I think the, the oil pan wasn't fully tightened when I bought this car. And then the shop I took it to, cleaned it off, fully tightened it, and it doesn't really leak anymore. Like very small drops, like if I leave it for a month. I definitely feel the potential of this car though. I'm really excited to get this to 100% and even past that. The car has new pads, rotors, and uh, brake lines, so brakes aren't that bad. They're still like not as good as just the stock competition brakes on my M3, which those aren't even like all that great, but they're, I think they're pretty solid. So I'll probably end up getting some aftermarket brakes at some point. I know a company named Tarox or Tarox, however you pronounce it. Looks like a common like Japanese tuner brakes. It looks like most of these Lancias usually put those on. I don't really see any um, Brembo kits specifically for this car. You might be able to modify an existing one, but it looks like it's the easiest to the Tarox because they sell you know, fronts and rears. you all like that video if you haven't noticed the only thing I've pretty much done with this car since my first one is uh, got a different license plate got to represent the six consecutive WRC wins but in the future I plan to do some more videos just pretty much like addressing all the issues on this car fixing it modifying it I have a bunch of parts just laying out here and I have one shipment coming in which is the last one I need to start putting all this stuff in so that should be my next video is going over the interior and buttoning everything up. Anyways, thanks for watching.